So one of my favorite distilleries and an artist I know not a lot about, except for the fact that he was on a Taylor Swift song, made a whiskey. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad and today I have a bottle. Man, I I'm telling you, I don't know if it's just because my Instagram is like so whiskey focused. I don't think I could scroll four pictures or more and not see this bottle pop up. Uh, this is Traveler Whiskey. It is a collaboration with Buffalo Trace, one of my favorite distillers, and a music artist, I guess he's a country artist named Chris Stapleton. I don't know too much about him, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, he's an eight-time Grammy award-winning artist. So this is a me thing, not a him thing. I just don't listen to a lot of contemporary music, um, like I said, outside of like that Taylor Swift song that I do. So before starting the video, I decided to do a little bit of research into this, and one of the things you'll notice on the label is that it's very simple, and I like that. Uh, Traveler Whiskey Blend Number 40. So apparently, this collaboration between Chris Stapleton and Buffalo Trace is, it's like an experimental kind of thing. They went through over 50 different blends to get the right blend, and number 40 was the right blend for them. So that's why it's blend number 40. I'd be interested to see maybe like what else they can come up with. Um, I have not opened this yet. I'm very excited to get into this. I, like I said, I've seen so many people talk about this thing. I'm so excited to get into it. Uh, what exactly is in the bottle? There's not a lot of information outside of the fact that the barrels were sourced by Sazerac, which is Buffalo Trace's parent company. And so I think the, the, the little bit of research that I could find on it was it said that maybe there was some 1792, maybe some Canadian whiskey in here as well. So uh, I don't know exactly. So take everything I just said with a grain of salt. But from what I could tell, that's kind of where we're at with this. So I'm excited to get this open. Let's get into it and let's see how we like it. And for those curious, this does come in at 90 proof. So, blended whiskey, I got this at retail. I think it was like $38, something like that, $40 around there. So I'm excited to give us a shot. Let's give it a nosing and let's see how we feel. Okay. So here's what's weird. A few weeks ago, I did a podcast, with Brad's Burger Reviews, the podcast with my buddy Timmy, and he had a sample of Caribou Crossing that one of our listeners sent him. kind of smells like that to me. There's a little, like a chocolatey note. I don't know if there is Canadian whiskey in here at all, but it, it smells like caribou. There's like some frosted vanilla, some graham cracker, and some grain. I will say it's a, ooh, ooh, there was like a little, like a plum note there. All right, I'm here, I'm here for it. Um, I'm here for it, this, this smells fantastic. Oh man, I really like the nose on this. This is interesting. It's more complex than I thought it was gonna be, A, with it being, and this is not a knock on Chris Stapleton. God bless you, do your thing. If I had the opportunity to do a collaboration with Buffalo Trace, I would do it as well. Uh, but I was kind of not expecting a ton out of this because it's A, 90 proof whiskey, and B, it's like celebrity whiskey. So I'm kind of going into this with like my expectations a little, a little lower, if I'm being honest, which I try not to do, but if I'm being honest with you guys, which is what I will always be as honest, I kind of wasn't expecting too much and I'm really pleasantly surprised. It smells great. I really like the nose on that a lot. It's more complex than you would think for a 90 proof whiskey. Man. All right, smells good. Let's give it a mouthing and let's see how we feel. Ooh. Oh boy, that's really good. It's making my mouth water. Man, say what you guys want about Buffalo Trace, but Harlan Wheatley knows exactly what he's doing over there. The fact that he was able to blend this, man. I would love to know what went into this because this reminds me a lot of rye whiskey. Um, there's orange zest in there. There is uh, a little bit of that graham cracker and honey note kind of carries over. And baking spice. It's 
really good. I'm I'm pretty impressed with this. I'm glad I got a few bottles of this. The orange note is very predominant on the palate. Which is strange because it's not existent at all on the, on the nose. Huh. I'm impressed with that. I really like that. Um, I don't think this is going to be something, you know, when we look back on 2024 and go, is this one of the best releases of the year? I don't think it's that good. But it's interesting. Um, especially with it being such a low proof and being essentially, you know, a celebrity whiskey. That's really, really solid. I like that quite a bit. There's also like a... Uh, on the finish or clove note something like that I, I'm, I'm impressed with this this is way more complexity out of a 90 proof whiskey than I was expecting um, I like this quite a bit and this is oh, see, it's bitter on the on the palate there's like an oaky bitterness on the end there wow that's very interesting that that is well above my expectations for this bottle uh, 40 bucks this is a buy for me all day I'm very surprised at how that turned out I wasn't expecting a ton out of it but it blew my expectations out of the water I think this bottle would do really really well in blinds I think people not knowing what it is would be surprised at how complex it is the only ding I have on it is it's a little thin the mouthfeel is better than a typical 90 proof whiskey but I mean that's something you can't really fix without having higher proof but if, the, if I'm nitpicking it down to that level um, th this is good man I don't know if Chris Stapleton will ever see this or if Harlan Wheatley will ever see this um, but that's really good you guys should be proud of what you made I'd love to see blend 42 or blend 25 whatever else you got because I'm, I'm impressed well that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching I will see you on the next one until then cheers